Hey y'all, we are back. Um, thought I would make another one. I'll post this at some point. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't decided. So, today, abatement has been going very well. Uh, I already had one bird out this morning. Just kind of going with what I can right now. Because in the midday, it's pretty hot out. Like, mm, it's pushing 100 degrees out here. So, can't really have a bird out for very long in 100 degree weather. Because that's a big nope. Um, haven't turned on the water yet today. So, I'm thinking they're probably not going to turn it on. So, it should be good to start flying again at 4.30. Which is half an hour from now. Something like that. Hope everyone's week is going pretty well. Mine is going well as well. Eh, going well, too. I don't get weekends off, because Bateman. <laughs> That's how it goes, it's 30 days straight. Um, I would definitely recommend it, though. It's fun. If you don't have anything else to do, and you want to do abatement, want to give it a try, it's a lot of work. It is a lot. And as a first year apprentice, this is, oh boy, <laughs> this is a lot to be thrown into all at once in my first year. But I feel like I'm learning a lot faster this way than I have been with Finley, my Kestrel. Although I have learned a lot with her because she's so difficult. She never did get used to um, just staying on a perch. She kept baiting and baiting and baiting until her legs were like, her tarsus was just scabs. So I just free locked her now because it wasn't working with the, uh, the perch at all. Anyway, so I've learned a lot with abatement but I learned a lot with the Kestrel too. I feel like if you're not ready for abatement, you will know because you won't be able to handle stress that well. And if that doesn't work out too well for you, then you probably shouldn't do abatement. Or if you don't enjoy having a bird, whether they're difficult or really easy, if you don't enjoy it, probably don't do abatement. Um, I think the best part about abatement for me is that I sort of have like my own space and kind of freedom to do what I want, sort of, I guess. Like, I set up my own schedule type of thing. There's no set schedule for anything, so it's kind of like what I think would work fine. Uh, when do I want to go shoot birds? When do I want to take out a falcon to fly it in the field? And you have to really be diligent about uh, watching when the birds are all coming in. Robins and such. Um, starlings are everywhere. Sorry if I'm sipping from this water. It's really hot. <laughs> Um, gives you a lot of freedom, but also a lot of responsibility since I'm the only one out here working every day during the afternoons. There's one other person that works in the mornings, but, um, yeah, you just have to be really watching and keeping an eye on the facilities because there's no, like, backup generator or anything, so you have to make sure everything's working before you leave feeding all the birds, watching the water, cleaning everything. It's a lot of work, but it is worth it to me. And I think anybody else who does abatement will probably say the same. It is worth it. I really enjoy it. I think the only bad parts that I found are that the closest bathroom is like a half a mile drive. <laughs> and um, 
like the heat. There's no air conditioning where I am. So the only air conditioning I get is in this car. And this is just a car. So I'm not out here often. I'm usually either in the field or I'm at the facilities like taking a lunch. Or at the facilities weighing birds, doing water checks, weighing them for feeding. Yeah, but majority of my time is out in the field, either shooting birds or having a bird out. Um, yeah. And also watching for bigger birds that are around. Like right now I can see an eagle uh, soaring around, so I have to be aware of that guy. I noticed him earlier too. Yeah, I just gotta watch it. Because those will eat falcons and stuff, which is not fun. Um, and wind, wind speeds, because there's, uh, what are they? Can't think of it. Windmills, there are windmills out here, so you have to be really aware of wind speeds. So if those are going, you can't fly a bird, because if the bird flies in that, they get, they're not in one piece anymore. So, you don't want that, you don't want a dead bird. And watching how the bird is acting for heat and making sure they're always sprayed down afterwards with a little spray bottle I have. So we spray them down afterwards to keep them cool. And then they get put up for the day. Heck, okay, the eagles are. Yep, just a lot of work, but Heat's bad, but it's okay, because you have air conditioning in your car, a lot of water. I also have a gallon jug. This is just what I keep in my car. Um, yeah, making sure electricity's on, water's on, just a lot of fun stuff. Anyway, uh, that's all I got for today. This will probably go up at like, I don't know. I don't know what time, whenever I get home, 9 p.m., something like that. I'll try to make sure it goes up the same day. So today is the, it's a Saturday, 15th, Saturday the 15th, I believe. Uh, yeah. Alrighty, everybody have a good day, make sure to like. If you have any questions, please comment them. Or if you want me to make a video on something other than abatement, comment it. Um, you can like it or dislike it. I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Do whatever. Um, yeah, y'all have a great day. And don't get heat stroke. Drink lots of water. Farewell, humans. <laughs>